Please build me a trading bot using the Coinbase Advanced Trade API and the Fear and Greed Index that will help me augment my dollar cost averaging strategy to make way more Bitcoin than I would be able to just buying the same amount every day. Make it really easy for me to understand, explain all of your changes, and let's use this to make a ton of money on Coinbase. And then I'll just click on send and see what it builds. What's up, everybody? If you're not familiar with the Fear and Greed Index, we've covered it a little bit here on the channel in the past, and I'll leave all those resources up in the cards and down in the description. But I felt like with what has been happening in the market these last few weeks, that it was time to talk about the Fear and Greed Index again. You see right now, the Fear and Greed Index is down at 26. And if you look at like the last week, we actually had a Fear and Greed Index value of 10 back on, you know, three or four days ago, February 27th. And if we pop on over here to Coinbase, we'll see kind of why. So we were trading up around 100,000, you know, back in January, and then we started to steadily decline. And then we had three days here of just like very violently negative price action. So February 24th, 25th and 26th, we're just crashing day after day after day there. And then you're seeing here, we're starting to get a bit of a V-shaped recovery. So no, Bitcoin is not dead. In fact, we're already up like 7% today or whatever. We're back at 91,000. And, you know, the death has been greatly exaggerated as usual. If we look back here at these candles, you'll see that the price actually did dip down into 78,000. And so, you know, two days ago or three days ago. And so if we just do the math on that, 91 over 78, we got about a 16% increase in price in like the last 48 hours, which is pretty crazy. We back up a little bit here to what is the fear and greed index. It comes from this really popular quote from Warren Buffett, which is to be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. Basically, when everyone is greedy, the market is at like all time highs and everyone's like, buy, 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 buy. But most of the time, that's actually the time that you should be selling or holding on to what you have. And when the rest of the market is super fearful, like in this giant slide that we've had in the Bitcoin price over the last couple of days, it's actually a great buying opportunity where you can pick up really cheap sats. And like we were seeing on the price chart earlier, end up in a position where in this case, we hit a total V-shape recovery and went from 78 to like 91 in the course of only like 72 or 48 hours. And if you're not familiar with this fear and greed index, it's basically the crypto fear and greed index. Alternative.me puts it out and they measure it based on volatility, market momentum, social media sentiment. They've paused surveys now for like several years. So I don't think this is actually part of the metric anymore. Dominance of the coin, this is actually like a mostly Bitcoin fear and greed index and then Google trend data related to Bitcoin in this example. And they're compiling all of that into this one number that over time has been predictive of local highs and lows in the Bitcoin price. And again, it's not perfect of like a 10 fear and greed index means that you've hit the bottom of the Bitcoin chart. But if we can start to use this data and incorporate it and augment our existing dollar cost average strategies, we are gonna make out better in the long run. And so that all sounds great, but how easy is it to actually do what I'm talking about? You don't wanna have to log on to alternative.me every day, look at the actual fear and greed index value and and then manually place a buy, it would be good if all of this just ran in the background for you automatically. And what's really cool now is that here on the channel, we've put out tools in the past to help people automatically dollar cost average Bitcoin, but they've been a little cumbersome to set up, especially a few years ago before AI existed because people just weren't familiar with programming. But now with tools like Cursor, it's never been easier to augment the dollar cost averaging strategy using something like the Fear and Greed Index and the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. And if you want to get set up using the Coinbase Advanced Trade API, I have full tutorials up in the cards and down in the description that will take you step by step through what you need to do. But for the rest of this video, I'm just going to show you a very basic use case using this fear and greed index data from alternative.me that I've wrapped into my own GitHub Python wrapper here that I'll have linked down in the description as well. So here I'm just going to get started with a new project in Cursor, which is my favorite programming interface of choice. It natively integrates ChatGPT and other AI code assistants like Claude that really helped me and other people that aren't super familiar with programming spin up really powerful scripts really quickly. And if you want to learn more about Cursor, I have links to videos that I've done in the past up in the cards and down in the description. Let's go ahead and open a new project and we'll call it Fear and Greed. And so to use this Fear and Greed index for the first time, I'm going to copy this installation command and you will have to already have Python installed in your computer. And there's a lot of tutorials out on YouTube that will help you do that. We'll just paste this command in here to install Fear and Greed Crypto. Now that's been installed 
installed. We can come back here to the Coinbase Advanced Trade Python API. And if you don't have that installed, you can copy this installation command here and we'll pop back over to Cursor and we will install the Coinbase Advanced Trade API also. And I'll have links to both of these things and commands down in the description. Next, I'll just right click over here and I'll create a new file called main.py. And this is gonna house all of our code. And so now just to get a quick start with the fear and greed index, we can copy this quick start chunk of code down here and go back over to our main.py. We'll paste that, we'll save this, and then we'll just go ahead and run it. And so here we're seeing in our output, the current fear and greed index value is 26 and the market sentiment is fear. We can also print some monthly data, a weekly average and a monthly median. Let's go ahead and play. And now we'll see even more data here that we're getting from the fear and greed index of historically, how has the fear and greed index performed over the last month? So all of this is a little complicated. You're digging into specific code examples here, but what if I just wanted to talk to the AI and have it build a total report for me of the last you know, month or year of fear and greed index data. Is it capable of doing that? Let's go ahead and check that out now. So what I'm gonna do now to have the AI understand how this package works is I'm gonna click here into this fear and greed folder and then click on this fear and greed PY file. And I'm just gonna copy the raw file. Then I'll head back over to cursor. I'm gonna paste the entire file here in the chat and I'm just gonna say, here is how the fear and greed index works. Please update my main file to show me a detail rich report of the fear and greed index values over the last month. Make it easy to understand and visually appealing. And so now we just sit here and we see what it builds. So it's made a bunch of changes here and it looks like it's importing even new libraries so that we can better visualize the data. So let's go ahead, we'll scroll down here. It's explaining everything that it's doing. It's color coding things and making the format more readable. We're gonna have to use this command to install matplotlib pandas and rich. So we'll go ahead and just run that. Now all of these things are installing so that our code will run. We'll go ahead and click on accept all over here to accept all of the changes that it's made. It's neatly organized this into its own method. And so now let's just scroll down here and click on play and see what happens. Looks like because matplotlib is being run for the first time, it's taking a little while to install everything that it needs. So let's just give it a couple minutes here. Cool, this is really neat. And so it made a picture for us and then it also outputted a bunch of really good data into just the console log. So if we look at what we were getting before was this giant dictionary of crap, basically all of this output from the API that's really hard to read. But just by talking to the AI and asking it to build us a monthly report, now if we scroll down, we're getting this really well formatted current status of the fear and greed index, basically when it was last updated, the value and the classification. And then it's giving us statistical analysis over the last seven days and the last 30 days of the average and the median fear and greed value over that period of time. So we can compare now over the last seven days, this is about you know, this is a little bit better than average on the value. And over the last 30 days, this is actually a, a way better value from a buying perspective than we've had over the last 30 days. Over the last 30 days, we've been around, you know, mid 40s. And right now we're getting a value of 26. And so the 30 day trend is downward and we've saved a visualization in this fear and greed trend picture. So let's go ahead and open this. And we're getting this really good data that is well formatted. It's got dates on the bottom. It's got extreme fear and extreme greed kind of thresholds there. It looks like at 25 and 75. And we could probably talk to the AI and have it update those values to 80 and 20 or whatever we wanted to label as extreme fear and extreme greed. I think right now it's taking those values from just what the API considers to be extreme fear and extreme greed. And then it's got the index value over here on the Y axis. It's done the charting title, you know, perfectly. And so really this is sky's the limit. Um, 
I literally just clicked buttons. It wrote all the code for me, right? This main.py file is now almost 100 lines of code and it's colored everything and it's labeled the accesses correctly. So if you wanted the output in a different format, it's really up to you now to literally just talk to the AI. You don't even have to know how to code anymore to create really rich console output like this and entirely custom generated graphs like this. And so now if we wanted to take it even higher to the next level, it's just a very basic example of how the fear and greed index data works. We could incorporate some features from the Coinbase Advanced Trade API and start to ask the AI, how can we build a trading bot that's going to drastically outperform just a dumb dollar cost averaging strategy? So let's go ahead and do that next. We'll head back over to GitHub and open up Coinbase Advanced Trade API that I'll have a link to down in the description. And something that I like to do with bigger packages like this, if you click in the Coinbase Advanced Trader. You'll note that there's a lot more going on here. There's a lot more files in this package than there is in the Fear and Greed package. And so for stuff like this, I like to use a tool called Repo Prompt that I'll have linked down in the description as well. Currently, it's only available on Mac, but it's also you know coming to Windows and Linux. So if you want to check this out, it's in beta and it's free right now, but it looks like pricing will be announced shortly. But if you're doing a lot of AI development, I do think that it's a really good tool to have. So basically what you can do with Repo Prompt is if you come back up to the top level of the GitHub repository and just download the entire zip file of the code base, you can go ahead and open that zip file and we'll go ahead and just drag that file of all of the code here into Repo Prompt. So now we can just simply select the checkbox on the entire Coinbase Advanced Trade Python folder, and then maybe include the README also. And then now if we just click copy, it will copy the entire context of all of the files that are included in everything that we've copied here. We can probably exclude test and recopy, and it will show you approximately how many tokens uh, you've just copied. So I think typically you'd like to keep this number probably below like 60,000, but you can you know play with this as you need to. You'll see here we're only at 17,000, which is definitely within the realm of what the LLMs can handle. And if you guys have any questions, if none of this is making sense, definitely leave a comment down below. I'm really interested to make more videos like this because the amount of stuff that you can do now, having absolutely no coding experience has absolutely blown up. And so if there's anything that I can do to help make any of this more understandable, definitely let me know down in the comments. Comments. So if you have repo prompt, you can just click copy and you can come back over here to cursor and you can just paste all of our data here into the chat. And now cursor is going to have all that context. If you don't have repo prompt, you can probably get away with just copying the entire readme. So if you're back here in the Coinbase Advanced Trade API, you can probably just copy all of this readme code and then paste that in the chat. And it's not going to give you as good of a detail as obviously what we've done here with repo prompt. And you could obviously go through and copy one file at a time, but that's just a little cumbersome. The bottom line is that you want the LLM to understand how the Coinbase Advanced Trade API works because it already understands how the fear and greed index works. And so when we combine that together, it's going to be able to create bots for us basically that can run either on your local machine or up on AWS and dollar cost average Bitcoin for us in a smarter way. So now that I paste all that in, I can use a tool like Super Whisper to literally just talk to the AI and have it build all this stuff for me. I don't even need to type. So I'll just press on the button here and now the computer is listening to me. And you can see here if I just say, you know, please build something cool. And then I tell it stop. It has, you know, written down everything that I talked to it. So now it's so crazy. You don't even have to code anymore. You can just talk to the AI and it will build bots that make money for you. So all I'm going to say is please build me a trading bot using the Coinbase Advanced Trade API and the Fear and Greed Index that will help me augment my dollar cost averaging strategy to make way more Bitcoin than I would be able to just buying the same amount every day. Make it really easy for me to understand, explain all of your changes, and let's use this to make a ton of money on Coinbase. And then I'll just click on send and see what it builds. So it's creating a new file called Smart DCA Bot that implements my strategy. It's going to use the fear and greed index to determine market sentiment, adjust my DCA amount based on market conditions. It's going to buy more when there's lots of fear, and it's going to buy less when there's extreme greed. It's going to use limit orders slightly below the market price to get better entries, and it's going to include detailed logging and reporting. So now it's saying it's created a smart bot for me that's going to help me optimize my purchases. During extreme fear, it's going to buy two times as much. During regular fear, it will buy one and a half times as much, and so on and so forth, all the way up to extreme greed, where it's only going to buy a quarter 
longer as much. It's going to use an entry of 0.5% below the market price to get better fee execution on the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. So it's really smart. It knows how to do that. It's going to give me detailed logging and reporting through the console and file logging for a historical record. And now here it's telling me everything I need to do to use the bot. So it's telling me that I need to set my API keys as environment variables. And then it's going to show me here how I can run the bot. So I would just run this code here and then get my API keys from the environment variables. And then it's augmenting based on it's assuming a $100 DCA amount. And so it's saying the key benefits here, it's going to buy more during market fear, potential bottoms, and it's going to buy less of the tops. It's getting better prices using limit orders versus market orders. It's keeping detailed audits of all of our transactions and it's fully automated. And we could even talk to this and say, hey, augment this so that we can use it up in something like AWS or Microsoft Azure. So now all we have to do is click on accept all and we can go ahead and look at what it's built. It's configuring logging for us. It's built the smart API bot here. It's got all of our multipliers here for extreme fear all the way to extreme greed, calculating the adjusted amount, calculating the dollar cost average. And so really here, the sky is the limit. You can tell it to do literally whatever you want, and it will build you something as long as it knows how the Coinbase Advanced Trade API works, and as long as it knows how the fear and greed index or whatever indicator you're interested in looking at works. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys and gave you a little bit of insight into not only why the fear and greed index works, but also how powerful it can be when it's combined with some of these other tools like the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. And I think what's going to be really interesting the next year or so is how powerful tools like Cursor become and empower a lot of us to use some of these more difficult or advanced programming techniques like combining the fear and greed index with the Coinbase Advanced Trade API to create some sort of crazy custom trading bot. This used to be something that you need a ton of development time to be able to do for yourself. And it's turning out that with the help of AI, you don't really need that much experience to do this anymore. You can literally talk to your computer and it will figure a lot of this stuff out for you. So if you guys need any help implementing this for yourself or you want any resources or access to a community of like-minded individuals who are interested in stuff like this, definitely check out the Discord that I'll have a link down in the description. And then check out these videos here to learn more about the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. I love you all. See you next week.